reality news. And Emily, the bachelorette, may just be days away from handing out her final rose, but we're still talking about the explosive Men Tell All reunion. Don't know if you saw it, but we want to get straight to it with our segment, Reality Bites, here to give us the behind-the-scenes scoop on our favorite reality shows. Please welcome Dancing with the Stars alum and Good Afternoon America contributor Cameron Matheson. <laughs> She's a former housewife, a housewife of New York turned fashion designer. And let's face it, she's still a housewife of New York. She is Jill Zarin. Here we go. Jill All right. Um, so I tucked into this. The men tell all. The, I know you The did. dudes tell all. I know. Or what have you. My heart sort of broke all over again for the blonde mm -hmm. guy. Yeah. Who, uh, who who's the blonde guy again? Sean. Sean he, thank you. People are saying that he may be yeah. the next, the next bachelor. That's, that's sort of the rumors that he may come back. Like, it was, that was sad. That was really sad all over again. But Look sort of nice you. and this sweet. This is sweet. This is yes, a sweet yes. side to see. You, but, you know, yeah. usually it's like you, the, the bachelor or the bachelor gets sort of torched on it. But she really unleashed here. She did a little bit. Well, here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Hey, for those that watch, you guys, you might remember this guy, Kalen. Yes. Okay. He's the guy who referred to Emily's six-year-old daughter as baggage. Bad. That's bad. Yeah. That's not bad. a good idea. Right? Unacceptable. So he, so he didn't last very long on the show. Bad. But this, this is his chance to make peace with Emily. I think we should see how that went. Take a look. I'm, you know, I'm obviously sorry the way things went down between us. Uh, but, but I am trying to use it as a, you know, growing experience in my future relationships and, uh, I really wish the best for you. And you, my dear, should be a politician because that is the biggest load of <laughs> I've ever heard. I just hope that you find faith in something bigger than your Prada shoes and your rented helicopter. Right? Good answer. Good answer, right? Here's Good something answer. interesting. Apparently what was edited out of that explanation from Kalen was that he said that other guys were involved in that conversation, but he was the guy to, to end up looking like the bad well, guy. Well, did some, did they, did they edit the word into his mouth? Right. No, they, 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 no, no, they didn't edit that. They didn't edit that. I'm just saying, out of that episode, they sort of like trimmed the story a little bit and they didn't kind of put that part in. Like, well, well, I'd like to see the kind of luggage he has and he should be so lucky to carry her baggage. Yeah. 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 You know? Yeah. yeah. I like her, and he's not good enough for her. All right. No, that's right. Let, let's, get, let's get to, to Jill now and the Real Housewives of New York. We know the gals love their spa treatments, but Sonia, Sonia, Sonia. Um, let's take a look at the latest. I mean, there's three things for the B-Day. There's washing the lingerie, icing your face, and <laughs> the obvious. <laughs> Is she really going to... I can't believe you're putting oh, your face in the bidet. My God. What about the sink, honey? Why are you using the bidet? This is deeper. Wow, Jill. I know. Well, I'm good friends with Luann, and she did tell me about this uh, scene, and she couldn't believe it. But, you know, leave it to Sony to come up with something creative for editors. You know, they love this stuff. I just hope that they cleaned it, you know, that she cleaned it out beforehand. <laughs> but this is what I want to know. This is what I want to know. As a woman of age, getting getting things done to make us look younger. See, I'm injecting things. I'm putting Botox in and wrestling in. And her theory is, if she ices her face down, that her skin's gonna get less swollen. So which is it? Am I supposed to plump myself up or ice it to go down? I need a doctor to I, I tell me. You can do whatever you want, but you don't need to use a, a, a lavatory to do it. Yeah, either way, stay out of the bidet. Yeah, that's just, all I'm saying. That, that, yeah, that's seriously, true. I just hope they cleaned it after that. I mean, that's actually... No, no, before, before, before. Was before. Yeah, it was just, clearly not her first time doing that either. I'm just gonna say she was very comfortable. Yeah. It was like kind I mean, of a daily Can I just ask you a secret behind the scenes question? Yes. Do they just come up with these stunts to make sure they get airtime? Sometimes. Was that one of those times? Um, wow. maybe. Maybe. She might have thought it would be funny for the show. I but just, not in a bad way. I think she had done it before. I thought she was talking about her birthday. B-Day? I've never heard that before. <laughs> it's my B-Day. It's a B-Day. It's a B-Day. It's, it's a B-Day. Day. Happy B-Day yes, to you. Absolutely. Fantastic. Uh, yeah. cute. I like that. Happy B-Day. I want to, I want to, I could talk to you about the Housewives all day, but we must uh, move on to Snooki and Jay Wow. They've moved to the mainland, taking over Jersey City now. And last week we saw the two start to decorate. I'll use the term loosely, their new apartment. Cam, yes. talk they to us about absolutely. this. Absolutely. Well, we're going with a lot of, not, not surprisingly, animal print and pink. But well, there's a shock. All over. Right. <laughs> but, I mean, seriously, what else? I mean, you got to have a, some portraits in there, some sexy portraits of themselves. Take a look at this. This is our painter. He looks like an artist. Two pictures of us looking mad hard would definitely make the apartment. Hey, puppy. It's gonna look sick. 
gonna look <laughs> sick or mad hard. Something, As I yeah. said, you know, a Good Morning America did get a tour to see what those portraits look like, and indeed, you ready for this, Josh? Mad hard. It doesn't, doesn't come out the same way when I say it, does it? What, does As that we, mean hot? I guess so. In, okay. We gotta translate with I, the kids. I'm What's going looking on? Looking at a shot of <laughs> Jill know. with a, a portrait I, of you somebody. Know, I happened. I, I got this as a gift, you know, from the Housewives of New York City at my birthday party, and it is in a treasured. Mad hard. It's in a treasured place in my home. It's in my living room, Who is and that? I love this. That's that, your dog, right? This is Ginger. Yeah, oh, Ginger's yeah. backstage. Yeah, Ginger's we know, we know, Ginger's yeah, Ginger's yeah, absolutely. And there's Ginger's a whole backstage. rivalry, right? But with Jiggy and Ginger, there was actually yeah. yes. Andy Cohn, um, you know, started to favor the new house, the newest Housewives dogs, and I was very hurt. And I <laughs> brought this with me when I was on his show, and he wrote about in his book. Is that Let's funny? Just say it. Her, her name true. once more. Just say it. Ginger. Ginger. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much to Cam oh, and hey. to Jill.